So this is the work that got done yesterday. The guy came here and he did all of that already. There's a little bit left over there and some over here and then this part of the floor. But that is the tile coming in. So he finished up the floor yesterday. As you can hear, man, the echo is loud in here. It's gotten louder with every process. But now it just needs to put the stuff in between. I think it's grout, they call it. Anyway, yeah. And that door we're going to put in later when we are finished with uh, the homeschooling room. So for now, we're going to leave it like that. And I think Friday, the guys that are supposed to come and do the the plaster on the wall, like filling up all the nooks and crannies and making it even and stuff, um, ready for painting, are supposed to come. They're going to get started. It's probably going to take Friday, Saturday, maybe even Monday. And then next week, we'll be ready to paint and everything. And then put the electrical stuff in and all those trimmings and then we'll be ready to move our stuff back in here and I'm also gonna get fabric for curtains because we have zero curtains right now for in here this is our finished tile floor all the grout has come in and now next is uh, they're gonna put all the prep the walls for painting I'll uh, smooth it over and everything so yeah somebody's enjoying the floor So this is how the wall is looking so far. They're going to put that kind of stuff all over. They're going to make the wall completely nice and smooth. Um, and the top part's going to have a little bit of um, like the sprinkling stuff on it. They said it was easier and I figured why not for the roof. So uh, we put plastic all over the windows and the doors to protect them because the last layer, I think, which they're going to put in on Monday if I'm not wrong. And uh, they spray it so that it doesn't get all over the place. Yep. And that door we just left like that because, well, eventually it's going to be cut out. So, yep. So this is what uh, happened also lately. They've been doing the wall. They made it overall smooth. And the roof's still patchy. They were supposed to come and do it yesterday, but they didn't. And they were also, they're going to do another layer of uh, this. As you can see, it's not 100% smooth. They're going to do another layer. And uh, yeah, and put some sprinkly stuff. We're going to have sprinkly stuff because I figured that way at least I could cut costs a little bit in one place and then the roof it didn't bother me as much I just did not want it on the walls so yeah we'll see if they actually do come today they were supposed to come yesterday so since they didn't there's a good possibility they'll come today but that needs to dry three days so and then we got the uh, primer ready over here to start uh, putting on the primer for paint and we'll have to do two or three layers apparently uh, of that to before we start putting in paint but yeah that's it so far so I think I took a video the other day of uh, the wall being done so the floor I ripped out the car uh, the plastic and my sister-in-law cleaned it nicely so she's gonna tape some plastic in and there's the primer ready to be primed hi everyone so I haven't really made a video in the last week or two like I haven't uploaded anything 
and uh, but we have made progress as you have seen in uh, clips that I'm uh, posted in the video that I've, uh, anyway um, so yeah the house cons uh, the construction is continuing and everything's gonna come in within the next short little while which I'm very looking forward to and um, so yeah, it will be so handy to be able to use that room soon again. Everything that was in that room was really crowding up the house and it makes it so much harder to keep the house any sem uh, semblance of um, organized is all the time is just everything's in the wrong place and t kids take out toys and it just, it looks like a mess. So it'll be handy to have that again. Anyway, so also for week 17 and 18, as a pregnancy update, um, I have now gained a bit more weight. In the last video, I uh, think I told everybody I hadn't gained weight in a while. I have since gained some weight. Oh, my goodness, nasty flies. When you do construction, and like we have done, um, the doors are open a lot, and we get flies here, so. And they do come inside unfortunately nothing I can do about it so anyway so yeah I have gained weight now which is wonderful for me it's like it's something I'm used to happening and it's finally it's happening so very very happy about that and during week 17 I also was having like some Braxton Hicks and stuff um, I had a day where my back was really crampy I was, uh, thankfully I had some uh, cramping tincture that the midwife had given me in a previous pregnancy that was still fine to use and everything. So I took that and uh, after a couple of doses it went away. And because I was, I was like, if this doesn't help soon, I'm going to have to call the midwife and see what, what we can do about this. If, if I can't take the meds stronger or what, what we can do. because. I wasn't very fun at getting, like, I've never had Braxton Hicks at 17 weeks, and, like, it was, like, quite, like, from the back and then radiating into the uh, the tummy, and that was not something any pregnant woman likes to experience, especially if you ha you've had a previous miscarriage. And I've never had one, like, at this stage in pregnancy. I've always had them in my first trimester. Um, but still your your mind wanders there if you've been through a miscarriage you know what i'm talking about it's just your mind wanders and your mind it's it just tries to scare you like a lot and um yeah so for the tummy update uh, i don't have one for week 17 but that is week 18. like in the picture in the videos previously it has looked bigger but I was joking to my husband, like, I could pretend that I just gained a weight, little weight and I could have kept the pregnancy a whole secret from everybody. Although I would have been way too excited, so that wouldn't have been possible. But anyway, um, and for most pregnancies, it would have never worked for me anyway. But for this pregnancy, it just, it, my tummy stays so small still and I don't, uh, I'm a bit poofier in the face and my hands. I now do take off my ring for the night and I sometimes forget to put it on during the day, but it fits me nice still. Uh, other than that, and usually by this stage, I would not be using my wedding band anymore. I would have upgraded to a bigger size, just a, any cheap ring from the store. And I can still use my wedding ring. And so I could have totally hidden it. My husband's like, yeah, even from me. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, I definitely have a little tummy going on, but, um, yeah, I could have just said, you know, uh, but then again, I would, that would have been way too excited. It, that wouldn't have been possible because of that. And so, and I still have some things I still, um, don't really do that much. And my veins have stopped getting worse. That's a good thing because for a while there in between I, they were getting worse like really quickly and also 
I will show you <laughs> what I did uh, get myself. Only the cheap ones online, but these um, socks, which have really, really helped. I think that's uh, like one of the things that has helped to uh, prevent them from getting worse. So the cheapest ones online you can buy, they will still help you. Yeah. If you can get them in your size, I, I totally, totally recommend them. And um, the, what else was there? Oh yeah, I still do not enjoy coffee. I used to love coffee. I would ma make it very like light. My husband said it didn't taste like coffee. My coffee wasn't real coffee, but I enjoyed my coffee, so. I still don't enjoy it. Like, I have drank in during this pregnancy, like maybe five, six cups of coffee. And with Owen, I definitely drank more during the, like, you know, during pregnancy, you limit your coffee intake. But I definitely drank more with Owen. Like, I would, you know, basically on a daily basis um, drink a cup of coffee. But now, um, there was a while where I would vomit if, <laughs> if I would <laughs> try to drink a cup of coffee. And I wouldn't vomit anymore, but I don't enjoy it. So, yeah, I, I just then rather stay away from it than ruin it for later. <laughs> and, yeah, pregnancy does a whole lot of things to you. I was a person who used to hate shrimp. Like, I would not eat shrimp. You couldn't pay me to eat shrimp. <laughs> and then I got pregnant with, with our third and all of a sudden I was craving those things. And I told my husband, it's like, I was thinking of all the w different ways I could get, like, I was like, that person offered me one, uh, like, before, that person offered if I would eat a shrimp, they would pay me shrimp at a restaurant. I'm like, I wonder if I could still trick that person into paying me shrimp. <laughs> So there was one devious mind at work at that time was like, but I never did any of that. I just bought the shrimp, made myself some uh, some things, not a cocktail, but I like uh, shrimp with chipotle sauce and spaghetti and just um, camarón ranchero. I don't know how that one is um, called in English, but I I definitely made myself that. I learned how to cook that and. It was delicious. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, pregnancy can do a lot of things to a, whole, a woman's hormones. Things you didn't like, you might start to like. Things you've never eaten before, you can crave things you've never even tasted, apparently. So, and yeah. And things you loved before. It's like, no, I can't stomach that right now. Or, no, I don't want to do that because my stomach's going to turn upside down. I still have a weaker stomach, but not as not, not horrible, horrible. Like with my first, I would vomit throughout the pregnancy here and there. It wasn't like the horrible, horrible kind of vomiting that some ladies do. Some ladies, they have, like, they have to sometimes even go to a hospital, get IVs, to just rehydrate their body. I've never had that. But I've definitely jumped up in the middle of the night and ran for the bathroom and vomited. TMI, but okay. Um, and I've not done that this time, so. I have a weaker stomach, but not like that. Not that bad, so. Very happy about that. And, yeah. So life is going on. I've been homeschooling my kids and Energy sometimes better, sometimes worse, but mostly better than it was in the first trimester. So that's a good thing. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it, I think, for this week. And I'll update you guys some other time once the painting is done and stuff. I think next week, hopefully. Lisa is trying to get that done next week and her she had hurt her foot. I don't know if I if that would happen before I post my last video. I think it was after. She had her uh, twisted her ankle pretty badly too, and but that is she's really back into her element already. <laughs> so her foot's working again. Um, she went. She was somewhere else when she did it, not at this <laughs> job. But the poor 
poor, poor lady. She she is a, a full of energy, and then she couldn't really use her leg, and she had to use crutches and stuff. Um, yeah, she got bored, really bored. And <laughs> she is now back into her element, back into full swing. So yeah, she's hoping to get the painting done. The sooner the better. So, yep. See ya.